All right, so let's build a batch component. Um, so let's start by creating a new component in our UI directory called batch.view. And here, ultimately, we will just want to render a div with a slot inside. Uh, so as for our props, we'll probably accept a theme. So this will be a string that will be required. And uh, we'll create a validator. We'll probably also need a size. This will also be a string that's required. And uh, we may want to have like a Boolean that will uh, make our uh, batch uppercase. It will be a Boolean. Uh, by default, it will be false. All right. Uh, so now let's create our computed uh, method here. And uh, we'll need to generate the theme class. And we'll need to create the size class. Now we will want to apply those here. Theme class true, and then our size class will always be there. And then uh, you know we'll have an uppercase that will only be applied when. Uppercase is true. All right. Uh, so here we'll create a lookup, and we'll you know re uh, return appropriate key. So when it comes to the theme, we'll probably have something like you know info. We'll have success, uh, warning, and error. And when it comes to the size, we'll have SM. MD and LG. Let's fix that typo here. Okay, so now we need to add them to our validator. And we need to add our themes here. So again, info, success, warning, and danger. All right, so now let's render our badges here. So uh, we'll have one called success. Uh, one called info. Let's pass the size. And size shouldn't be required. Uh, let's put a default here. Default empty. OK, so let's remove that from here. Wait, did I mark it as required? I did. OK, let's change this to false. Um, team success, team info, warning, and danger. So let us save this. We can see that you know some things are being uh, rendered. We need to apply styling now. So for the info, we'll go with BG blue one hundred text blue. 800 and text white. Uh, wait, what? No, <laughs> we found the text white. Uh, Sax will be BG green 100, text green 800. Warning will be you no know, yellow or orange, but let's go with yellow for now. And error will be obviously red. Let us save this. Uh, was it error or danger? It was danger. Mm, yeah, let's go with danger. Okay, so it is being uh, rendered. That's great. Now let's add some initial classes that will always be applied. So... Um, 
on semi bolt, rounded MD, cracking white, white space, no wrap. wrap. So it doesn't wrap. It's uh, not a lot of space on the page. It should always be displayed. That's all right. Uh, we should probably make them inline. So let's go with inline flex. Maybe just inline. It can be a span, to be honest. But why are they? Right, because we have a flex here. Uh, yeah, so we really shouldn't do that. So we can just wrap them in a div so they display nicely. And we can add a, you know, flex uh, or just SpaceX 4. All right. Uh, now when it comes to the sizing, SM will be text XS, MD will be text SM, and LG will be text base. And now we need to add some padding. So how about padding? Uh, one and a half and padding Y 0.5. All right, that looks good. Um, let me just pass a couple of of different sizes. So let's make this one uh, SM. This one will be MD. And this one will be LG. Okay, so for the small one, we probably need to... To be honest, the text itself make it bigger. Uh, so I don't know if we want to change the, 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 the spacing here. Honestly, I think that's fine. Um, so let us just check if the uppercase works for the last one. And it does. So yeah, we have our badges, you know, nothing crazy. They just work. They are there to success, uh, to show user, to show user the, the progress or status of, uh, of something. So, uh, I think they will, they work just fine.